Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K, and this will be the largest pickups video <laughs> uh, we have ever done. You guys only not even see anything. We have yeah, no, this is this is insane. Uh, now I will say that I did show um, seven or eight of these beers on a mini live stream I did when I was in mm, Washington mm -hmm. D.C. But we're gonna go ahead and reshow those in here because we've gotten we've got maybe like thirty ish beers here. Um, Plus so all the liquor, all yeah. the alcohol. Yeah, so this is from Just Washington. Bottles and bottles. Washington, D.C., uh, Arlington, Virginia, and also Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Um, this so were very, this, those were very far apart. I had, I had a, like, I, I'm trying to maximize my time as much as I could while we're at it. Anyway, I gotcha, I gotcha. let's start. We have a lot of beer. So, first thing uh, I'm going to yeah. start with is a clearance item. At This was at the Total Line in Arlington, Virginia, two minutes from Washington, D.C. This is Boulder Rock's Hard Tea, half and half. Uh, they only had one sitting there, and it was a dollar. Probably well, take it because it's slightly. It's about to be expired. So, but we'll yeah, just, we'll just do that tonight. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Um, I think I'll leave these for now. I I want to want to. This this is my favorite thing that you picked up I, I, of everything else you picked up. This is the coolest thing. It's a good. This thing. is this is a, a three notch brewing Mossy Creek. Uh, it is. It's a beer. It's a limited release collaboration. Uh, anyways, it it's a beer. It's got a fish on the can. Automatically awesome. But the fish, that part like peels up. It says free sticker. It's got a cutout section. That's awesome. Get they get sticker. like an extra point for that. I don't. I don't like. I care if the beer is good, but if this beer is like average, it also says I'd rather be fishing and has a trout on it. Yes, so. it does. It's important. Easy drinking lager. That's what that is. I, but if this is even like okay. This might be my favorite beer that that you've picked up. I mean, it's the, the can. I, I give them props. It's one of the most unique. Uh, it's it's a good idea, and it probably doesn't cost that much to put a cut out on the, the sticker. You know what I mean? Probably not. Like it's a great idea. Next That's, we have uh, we have a lot of stuff, so run through it slightly faster. <laughs> uh, we have Southern Tier Pumpkin uh, Nitro, Pumpkin Nitro. This is their nitro because you had to get a this pumpkin will be our beer. one pumpkin beer. Oh, no, is that the one yeah. pumpkin beer? Yes. Oh, it's a nitro. It's a Maybe good one and a half. Pumpkin. Uh, this is a IPA number seventeen sour IPA. It's Collective Arts Creativity. What? It's sure is hipstery. All right, so uh, when I was in, uh, about I would say about sixty percent of the beers in here came from the Total Wine in Arlington, Virginia. There was a dude in there um, when I was looking for beer, and he worked there. And he also, I'm not familiar with any local breweries in Arlington, Virginia, Virginia, or Washington D.C. Any of those areas. So he was like, "Okay, this brewery sucks. This one sucks. This one's good." I'm like, "Cool." He's like, "What don't you like?" I'm like, "Barley wine's a trash." Other than that go to town he's like oh i'm, I'm in agreement with you i'm like right <laughs> anyway so uh I just don't know why you don't like barley wines like at all i'm not really into drinking uh hay and horse shit mm. would be the easiest way to describe I a barley think, wine. i think they're pretty good yeah what um, you got next all right so i found a belching beaver beer yeah. which everybody's been requesting hey, hey. it's nothing particularly special it's not one of the cool ones looks very D. &D. uh this is a wish push wish Wish-poosh? Yeah, wish I push. think wish-poosh is... Yeah, that seems uh, right. Wish-poosh wheat. It's got a giant <laughs> evil beaver on it um, with a tiny wolf man fighting it. Mm. It is a wheat ale brewed with lemongrass and grains of paradise. I'm going to go on with uh, uh, wood... Wood booger? What? I don't remember what half these are. Booger. B-O-O-G-E-R. That's booger. Wood booger. Wood Booger. <laughs> is that the brewery? Is that the name of the beer? Uh, no, it's the name of the beer. I think uh, Strange Ways Brewing is the name of the brewery. It is, uh, yeah, it's Wood Booger. Uh, it's, it's pretty brown, whatever it is. Uh, another, another clearance, uh, a stove pipe can. This is Bold Rock's hard tea. Now, Bold Rock makes good ciders, but they're not known for their teas. So, um, okay. but whenever we'll, I see a hard we'll tea on the see. market, it's uh, about to happen. Maybe we should do a top five tea We are video. in the same market on this one. This one is about to expire, but it's in a can. Of I mean, it'll be okay. This is... The, oh, okay. I thought that was part of the label. Yeah. I was like, that's clever. Uh, Super Bach. This is something from Portugal, it's a, it's and a, it's a Super Bach. It's a Bach from Portugal. I've never seen a Bach that clear in my life. That is... Yeah, that's crystal clear. I think that's mostly the color of the bottle. That's got to be like... Like, very, very... 
very easy. Just to get this giant six pack away, I bought a six pack of Killians because you don't really see it that much anymore. And then I realized that we never did an actual review. There's a blooper video of us doing the Killians, and when we opened it, it just chunks of ice came out. Oh yeah, I remember so that. Yeah, yeah. we need to do an actual review of Killians. That's really sad because I think we got that Killians out of like a case of Killians that I had bought, and that was the last one. Ah. The lemonade stand. By me! Oh, no, that's... actually, it just says that. Uh, it's 7.1% 7. hopped. And it's... 7.1% It's a Duclaw alcohol. beer. Okay, of course it's a Duclaw beer. It looks good. I mean, it's got that sticker wrap on the can and everything. That looks like a Duclaw beer. Lemonade stand. By me! Looks good to me. I mean, it does look good. I'll, I'll drink it. Alright, next I have... Oh, this I have no... This is uh, Business Chicken India Pale Ale. By the Aslan Beer Company, and this is a business Virginia chicken. company. This guy handed me this is the one of the ones he handed me. I remember this one. This is a business chicken. Is that is, that just sounds like a penguin? Yes. Uh, that might just be a penguin. Uh huh. This. This is. Very metal. This is heavy. Yeah. Very. This metal. is. I can't even tell. Well, I'm probably you, better. You're, at yeah, reading. you're better at reading that. You you have to be better at reading that. Uh, that is something theory. That's definitely theory. <laughs> uh, it looks like just a pile of sticks. It's a Russian Imperial Stout. That's how you can tell it's a it's a heavy metal beer because no, it's, its name looks like a pile of sticks. Oh, okay. There's the brewery right there. Adroit Theory Brewing Company. Yeah, Washington D.C. Okay. Yeah, that's that's heavy, heavy metal. metal. Brutal. It's it's more 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 deathy, but yeah. Brutal. Okay, uh, death metal. This just looks like an against the grain beer for some reason, just the way that it came. definitely looks. Yeah, but it is not. Uh, uh, it's done by some fancy artist that's French. <coughs> cool. This is French beer. Ransack the universe. I like the name by the Collective's Arts Brewing Company. The, the the artwork on the can doesn't make me think of ransacking the universe. I'm not gonna but, lie. But I like the name. I it's like the name. it's cool art. I'm down. Uh. Old Dusthead Brewing Company, peanut butter s'more. Really, peanut butter again? Peanut butter s'mores. Read all the all the ingredients. Caramel mocha stout made with coffee, Macchiato. vanilla. Oh, it's macchiato. Oh, you know how to say uh, well, I, I've lost my place now. Made with coffee, vanilla beans, natural roasted peanuts, and s'mores flavoring. So not. Chocolate. It's got a goat on it. Uh, I'm going to get this out of the way because of the box. I have some Tangare Classic Gin and Tonic. Mm. Wow, it took them that long to make a canned seltzer. I'm a little bit surprised, yeah. Um, Tangare is like one of the one of the companies I expected to have little little chintzy drinks out. 5.9% alcohol by volume, $13.99 for a four-pack. Yes. Schlafflerhofer? Schlafflerhofer is what I think. Schlafflerhofer? I think we called it Schlafflerhofer last time. Yeah, I think that is Schlafflerhofer. Uh, this is pomegranate hefeweizen. They used to that, make a grapefruit one. I'm kind of excited one. about that. Yeah, that, yeah, that looks that looks tasty. That's very, I'm it's into very it. German. This is schlaffler uh, <laughs> Ooh, I bought this because it had fish on it. It's called Fishtail Organic Ales. It has various fishes on it. 6.5% uh, alcohol by volume. It's certified organic by Washington State Department of Agriculture yeah. from Olympia, Washington. There you go. It's... I want to they see. Wanna, they want to make sure you know it's certified. I organic. want to see someone make a completely inorganic beer, like only chemicals, only man-made chemicals so in this Bud beer. Light. No, no, no. That's got that's got uh, uh, rice rice in it. Yeah, that's that's rice a that's it? a natural. <laughs> yeah, it's got rice in it. Oh no, no, I'm doing that. Oh, oh okay, fine. It's just kind of rude. Same anger. Up. That's that. I know that's not supposed to say anger, but it, it that says anger. That's an Oktoberfest. How did that not make it in the refrigerator? Oktoberfest Marzen, authentic Bavarian festival lager. They have a little Bavarian shield. I guess the, uh, I'll step that aside to put in the refrigerator. It'll be cold by the time uh, we get to we it. We got you to brew. This is Saison number 13, a Megadeth uh, beer. Uh, their second, I think their second or third beer in the, from Unibrew. Oh, that, that's why this, yep. That's why that didn't make it in there. Probably. That's it. Uh, this is... Propagator, Firestone Propagator Series, Citra Hazy IPA Single Hop. It's a lot of words to say I'm I'm a nerd. Uh, it's from Firestone Walker. Okay. 
So Firestone Brewing is a company you guys have been requesting for a really long time. So we finally found one. <laughs> uh, this is Stone Imperial uh, Starfucker. I love the name. <laughs> it's, it's a hazy IPA, a stellar hazy double IPA. 9%, it's a big one. Look, when you brew your beer in a castle, you're allowed to do things <laughs> that normally you just wouldn't be allowed to do. Imperial Starfucker? There's so many references uh, there. Another one, a uh, passion there. fruit. I'm, I'm not as excited about that, but I'm I I, I could get excited. The color's more we'll reminiscent of a night of drinking. That yeah, that that color is something special, especially the dust on the bottom of the bottle. We have another Firestone beer. This is Firestone Hazy India Pale Ale, but this is a 96 calorie Hazy India Pale. Ale. That means okay. Fuck yourselves. Oops. <laughs> this stone ah. Uh, Liquid Poem Double IPA. That's 9.4% 4, 9 alcohol. Yikes. Well, it's stone, so are you surprised? I mean, brew your beer in a castle. You just can't get away with things. Uh, we have Great Lakes Crushworthy Low-Calorie Citrus Wheat uh, beer. Uh, it's 4% alcohol and 105 calories. You're getting a low-calorie mm -hmm. craft mm -hmm. beer. Look, it's possible to make beers with flavor that are low-calorie. I'm going to leave these... No. Till, till we're done with everything else on the table. Nah, just hit them. Hit them. All right, fine. Uh, I, oh, I already, already answered. Did I? Yeah, you did that. Yeah, did anger that. beer. Angry beer. Uh, this is Port City from Alexandria, Virginia, Oktoberfest. I think it looks nice. I, that looks that looks like an Oktoberfest. I'm pleased. As much as this can looks like an Oktoberfest. That looks like a, that looks like a very uh, not Oktoberfest beer. That, like it those looks, are the traditional It's got all the Oktoberfest stuff on it, but it doesn't look like it was made uh, for like like cool Oktoberfest stuff. Two Roads Brewing, which I have I think I've heard of that company. This is a Martin style Oktoberfest lager. Is there so. a picture of a dude doing this? Yes. Yeah, there is. Uh... There's a lot of stuff going on on that can, man. Come here. Come here. Come to daddy. The Mad Bishop Oktoberfest is 6%. And that dude looks... He looks like a mad bishop. Duclaw, by the way. Of course it's Duclaw. Again, with the with the wrap. Now, every time I see one of these wraps, I'm going to be like, could have made that into a sticker. They don't normally... Duclaw doesn't normally do the wraps. At least the ones we get locally here the, the, um, in... Virginia, they seem to have more of their one-off beers, which was nice to see. Mm -hmm. um, now we have Victory's Fest Beer. Uh, it's Mars style lager, 5.6% alcohol by uh, alcohol by volume. It's what you'd expect. I don't somehow we haven't reviewed this one, and also we can't get it around us. Oh, it's got a boot on it. Another Duclaw. Du no, that's uh, DC. That, that's DC, DC Brow. Brew. Yeah, good, good job. Look, my, my eyeballs. I've been having a deal with dumb dogs all day. Keeping me awake. Story, I'm, story I'm, allowed of my life. To, I'm allowed to not be able to read. Story of my life. Uh, but anyways, this is an Oktoberfest, and it says Brost on the bottom because it's, you ought to. This is another beer that looks like a very, like this looks like you could possibly buy it at an Oktoberfest. Uh, apparently I believe is that all? The, no, you got that no, that you, green thing. You have that one. Is this a beer? Oh, I, I forgot. Uh, so I have a uh, soju right here. This is an apple soju. You know what soju is, right? I am aware of soju. So uh, this is an apple flavor. It's five bucks. I aware. bought it because I was like, hey, we haven't done soju before. We well, we haven't done an apple flavored soju. It is important. It doesn't say words. How much did this cost? This had to be like like ten bucks. It was ten bucks. Ah, yeah. So you we'll read the, the tea, the tea uh, barrel. This is the. Uh, Firestone, this is made by a tire company. Uh, the Firestone Tequila Barrel Sunrise Vintage 2021, number two. Number zero two. Yeah. Uh, tequila, ba tequila Barrel Aged Ale brewed with orange peel and hibiscus. Hibiscus! It's important because to say it that way. This is the hipsteriest thing you have. Oh, no, there are much more expensive beers there. I bought this because it was a Firestone beer, and at first, this is the only Firestone beer I could find. Well, you know, when the tire company starts making beer, you got to buy that beer. That's what it looks like. Can't really tell on the camera because it's the lights, but it comes in a box. 
21 IBUs. Uh, well, it's in a box to protect it from light. Oh, uh, well, yeah, makes sense. It's just... When you're a beer, you have a have, have beer ABV, it's, it makes sense. All right, uh -huh. I'll start with this Jim Beam, Scream for the Cream. That's not what it's called. It's a special release bourbon cream liqueur. Jim Beam uh, Cream. Jim Beam Cream. Jim Beam Cream. No, no, no big deal. Just Jim Beam Cream. You love that cream, right? Jim Beam. Scream for that cream? Ah, uh, I hate the name, but I really like the name. Just, right. how dare they? What you, what you got over there? <laughs> uh, this is Ciroc. Very special French brandy. It's important that it's French. It's also very special. It's a tiny little bottle of it because a big bottle of it costs like as much as a car. Well, I was, yeah, that came from, I originally thought I was going to smuggle that in a suitcase. <laughs> so, the rest of our products are all benchmark related. That's very true. So, uh, before benchmark had two flavors. benchmark. Back in, they had two flavors. Mm hmm And then they had, bench, and they had benchmark. Mm-hmm. That was it. And then all of a sudden, they they made it rain. They were like, let's make everything benchmark. And let's keep it all under $25. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I mean, benchmark is already pretty decent. All right. So uh, the first thing we have here is benchmark small batch. It's 45% alcohol by volume or 90 proof. It's their small batch benchmark. Uh, again, all these are between $13 and $25. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how much this one was, but I know for a fact that the single barrel and full proof were the most expensive. Uh, and everything else was in between. So which one do you have? Just this entire situation, it that. makes me giggle. It makes me giggle a lot. Here, we'll add this. Add this to the pile. Uh, this is small. This is not small batch. This is a Benchmark Bond. Um, bottle and Bond is is a, a popular style. I mean, you, you might as well put one. If you've got a big selection of bourbon, you might as well have one of these. Personally, it doesn't it doesn't excite me like some of the other. Uh, uh, there's styles. a couple that excite me for these specifically, and I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. This uh, this is their foolproof, which this one may or may not be exciting. Is it foolproof? If you like uh, fireballs in your mouth, mm. not 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 fireball liquor, like actual flames, because it is flammable. This is, is it, actually flammable. Is it foolproof? Uh, or? It's sixty-two point five percent alcohol by volume, or one hundred and twenty-five. Uh, proof, which and is nobody in this, nobody here is going to be able to open that because it, because it's foolproof. Uh. <laughs> I'm more witty than you imagined. Uh, this is benchmark single barrel because <laughs> because it is. Uh, yeah, it's it's 95 proof, which is a little bit surprising, but it's hand picked too. It's hand picked. Well, I just noticed that every bottle, every bottle says something a little bit different. Like this one says hand picked. That one says elevation matters. This one says select casks. This one says single season. Ah! Fuck. That may or may not have broke. We'll find out I don't think it video. broke. Uh, nope, it didn't broke. It, it didn't broke. It broke. It didn't All right. Broke. So the next thing I have is not. I forgot. We have one non bitch. Oh product. yeah. Uh, I got some Jack Daniels for yeah. because people keep requesting it, and I was like, eh. When in Rome. We're not in Rome. Also, put it, come on, bring it bring it in the lineup here. It's Jack Daniels. I don't care about that. Uh, <laughs> that this is Benchmark be Top Floor. I'm actually really interested in this one if it actually comes from the top floor. It because, does, yeah. Because that's where all the fancy bourbon comes from. Well, actually, the fancy bourbon Oh, wait, no, that comes bottom. from the bottom floor. Anyway, the top floor, the top uh, floor is where all the, the, the cheap stuff comes from. Well, not necessarily. The cheap stuff's from the middle. The, the top floor, um, depending on what it is, it, it can change the flavor a lot. Especially since it's getting exposed to all the It's a whole lot heats. hotter. Yeah. A whole so, lot hotter. But they do, they, Buffalo Trace has been known to rotate their stuff too, but I'm just curious mm. if this just stayed on the top floor the entire time. That would be interesting. I wonder but, if they just forgot some barrels up there and they're like, oh, crap. So I'm guessing, <laughs> I would guess this would be probably pretty super woody, just be exposed to that much heat. They probably lost a lot of alcohol too. Yeah. Anyway. All right, well, that has been the biggest pickups ever. We're going to end it because if we don't, this video is going to go on for another hour. Um, but we will have reviews of these over the next rest of this year probably because there's a <laughs> lot of crap. Yeah. We're only doing four to five videos a week. You mean we're not going to review all of this in one sitting? Oh, there will be a video <laughs> once these are fully reviewed where we take all the benchmarks that are not flavored. Um, oh, and, and then we them? will just we will rank them. Uh, we would a, we would do talk about the differences between idea. them. Oh yeah, we will. It'll be a one video night. That's a terrible yeah. idea. Yeah, we're gonna have to start at like five in the afternoon. Yeah, but all right, that's been our episode. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Special K, and I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.